Assuming as we do that you will actually uh, take over this job, what do you want to do with it? I mean, where do you want to take the World Bank? Do you want to make it bigger? Do you want to make it smaller? What would you like your legacy to be? I want to make it more effective. I deeply, I care deeply about the the mission of the of the World Bank and of development in general. If we think about the world, uh, there there's still a, a lot of poverty, extreme poverty in some cases. So that's one part of the mission. But in general, more growth for developing countries. That means higher living standards, and that comes back and benefits the United States. It benefits Europe, all of the uh, and and Japan, of course, uh, the, all of the major shareholders of the World Bank. So it's engaged internationally in trying to have uh, more growth, higher living standards, and, and better practices around the world. Since the days of McNamara, as I understand it, the real focus of World Bank has been in extreme poverty. A lot of extreme poverty actually has been alleviated around the world. Should there be a shift, for example, to in investing in infrastructure? The shift should be to finding ways that uh, work in each individual country. Part of part of development is that it's different in in uh, it, even within Africa. Each of the countries develops differently, and so that means the world the World Bank engaged in those countries in different ways. Uh, that means uh, heavily the private sector, which Joyce has been uh, heavily involved in. Uh, the private sector has an ability to get money, often capital allocation, to people that can grow businesses, hire women and hire uh, uh, new people into the labor force. So I think it's going to be a different, it should be a differentiated uh, goal of the World Bank. So let's talk specifically about China. Uh, that You have been in the past quoted as saying that you have some real doubts about the continued loans, guaranteed loans made into China at below market rates. Uh, what is your view on that? Should we be treating China differently than we have in the past? We want to engage with China. The World Bank would will uh, be engaging. The, China is the world's second biggest economy. What has happened, though, is in the in the uh, in the uh, reforms that go along with the capital increase. One of the important ones is to begin to graduate uh, the bigger countries, the countries with more income, out of the borrowing stage with the World Bank, and that leaves more resources uh, for for uh, developing countries. Uh, so. So it's, it's not at all a disengagement from China, but more a shift in the relationship so that, uh, so that more money can be available for the developing, for the, for the lower income or developing countries. As I understand it, David, I believe that China is the second largest recipient, actually, currently of loans from uh, the World Bank, which may surprise some people, India being the first. Under your uh, tenure, would you expect that number to go down? I, I do because that's already embedded in the reforms that are going on. Uh, there's there's a shift that was uh, agreed to by the bank and shareholders over the last uh, year. I spearheaded from the from the Treasury side uh, in the U.S. government interaction with the bank the logic uh, that you needed to re reduce the lending to the higher income countries as you expand uh, the lending to the to the lower the countries that need the money more. Uh, it also has to do with capital market availability. In, in China and India, they have, uh, they have deep, uh, deeper capital markets, and that makes it available through the private sector. So, so David, one of the things you said, you want to make it more effective, the World Bank, and sometimes that has to do with efficiency. Uh, how could you make it more efficient? I'll be very specific. We actually have, through the IB, a question that is being passed on from somebody inside the World Bank saying, can't we do something about our systems? Just our technology is antiquated. Uh, you have been studying that carefully while you were at Treasury. Is there, a, is there some room for improvement there at the World Bank? I think there's room for improvement in lots of areas. I'll be listening to the staff. You know, they, they have a dedicated, a big staff. And so the, I'm sure there, there, I hope there will be uh, suggestions for adding to the effectiveness of the bank. And I think also having a core mission. So if, if, you, if you looked be, beyond this, the, the, the sprawl, the idea that the, the bank should do, do everything or do lots of things for all, sort, all different countries, and you come back to the core mission of having higher living standards for the poorer countries, uh, I think that will help with the effectiveness, the efficiency of the organization. So, so David, uh, finally, um, as I said in the introduction, traditionally, since uh, Bretton Woods, the United States has gotten to really name, effectively, the president of the World Bank. That has come under some question, and you yourself, your nomination is somewhat controversial with some people. Uh, what will you be saying to the members of the executive board that were voting on this to make them more reassured that you would be the right caretaker for this very important international institution? 
one of the things I'll, I'll emphasize is my long career in development. I started in, in development in uh, 1984 with the U.S. government. That was, uh, uh, and, and so as you go through that, I was heavily involved in the reforms that are now being worked through the World Bank. So there's a thorough, uh, a, a full U.S. engagement in trying to make the institutions better. Uh, and so I'll bring that and, and many years of experience. In, uh, one of my first uh, articles in the Wall Street Journal was in 1989, talking about how to have more development uh, in countries and growth around the world. Uh, and so I'll bring that, and I, it's, it's been pretty well received by the shareholders. I know a lot of the uh, uh, people in the other governments. I've worked with them for a lot of years, and so I think this will work. I'll be a strong leader for the World Bank if I'm, if I'm selected.